the American people are bonkers. <laughs> That's it really. I just, yeah, it makes me feel quite sad if I'm completely honest. Um, yeah, I felt disappointed waking up this morning. Reminding me of Brexit. No, not really. I think it's quite a volatile place at the moment in the world anyway. So adding that, it's just adding fuel to the fire, in my opinion. But, but who knows? I think, I think what people like is the honesty that he brings. And I think people are kind of sceptical of politicians a lot of the time because they don't know what's going on in their head, whereas he's someone who pretty much says what he thinks. Um, but who knows? وقتی بیاد مطمئنا اولین کاری که میکنه تحریما رو بیشتر میکنه که دولت ایران تحت فشار قرار بگیره و بعدش حالا اتفاقایی رو رقم میزنه که حالا یا یه تغییرات تو ایران اتفاق بیفته یا اون جنگ اتفاق بیفته و این گسترده این تحریم ها کم کم شروع میکنه کم شدن و حالا ایران برمیگرده به اون روزای اوجش He and Kamala Harris is the same as administration. Their enemy and hostility against the Palestinian people and against the Palestinian issue is fixed, will not change. And don't forget that he is the first one who confessed with Jerusalem as a capital for the Israeli and he transferred the American embassy from Tel Aviv to Jerusalem. And don't we as a Arab, as a Palestinian, uh, uh, not, will not be naive enough. We have, we have to deal with them as an, an enemy. We have to determine who is the enemy. They are enemies. Uh, Peut-être qu'on peut en tirer un bon enseignement, c'est qu'il faut renforcer la cohésion européenne et, euh, et apprendre à être autonome par nous-mêmes et pas se mettre sous le, sous le bouclier américain, puisque euh, c'est quelqu'un qui va être complètement imprévisible, tout comme sa politique, donc euh, bah, il faut gagner notre autonomie, et puis euh, ça veut dire économiquement, militairement, euh, 